27. No two words in sports are more dramatic. For one team, the dream of an NBA championship remains alive. For the other, it's the finality of yet another season unfulfilled. Carl Malone and John Stockton have spent their storybook careers in Utah and have never been this close to the NBA Finals. Their legacy and personal achievements will forever hold a place in NBA history. Tonight, they face what could be their last shot at their ultimate ambition. Sean Kemp and Gary Payton are the next generation and heirs apparent to the Malone-Stockton standard. Early on, it appeared youth was poised to triumph. The star tandem led Seattle to a 3-1 series edge, just one win shy of the team's first final round appearance since 1979. The momentum has since shifted to the Jazz. Stockton and Malone have brought their team back to the brink of the promised land. Seattle's past playoff horrors are again staring them in the face. But this team has exhibited superior character this year. Can that character prevail? Or will the Jazz ride their own momentum? The winner goes to Chicago. This is the NBA on NBC. The 1996 NBA Conference Finals. Welcome to Seattle, Washington. Tonight, the pinnacle of Western Conference basketball. Game 7 between the Utah Jazz and the Seattle Sonics. The Utah Jazz feel that they had played yesterday. Certainly, they would be the victors. Teams have gotten off to quick starts the last two games. 2%. Percy Hawkins, who has sworn to come out more aggressive. Sean Kent with the turnaround. Had two turnovers. We still have a 2 nothing game. 10-10 to play in the first. Stockton breaks free. That's perfect execution in the half court. Terrific passing play at the other end. John Stockton off the high post pick. His biggest obstacle today, John Stockton, is going to be overcoming his greatest strength, which is consistency. So he's going to be looking to try to take advantage of Morris and Russell. Hornacek down the lane off the pass from Malone. So has to make some early contributions. Four, Stockton, top of the key for three. Real John Stockton showed up in game six and appears to be carrying that forward. That's five early, Sean Kemp. Stripped to the ball, out of bounds to Utah. Steve, John Stockton started turning it around in the overtime of game five. Got an offensive rebound, made some steals. That jumper exemplifies the spring life in his game. Shooting just 27% from behind the line so far, and he hits a second straight. Yeah. <laughs> for five games, and suddenly he can't miss. A big story for the Utah Jazz. Kemp will go to the line for the three-point play. Superb job for Sean Kemp. Eschewing the double clutch, which has been his downfall for years, just going right in once the contact goes, just continuing right through. The disappointing and disconcerting thing for George Carl and the Sonics. Loose ball foul is on Peyton. Mike Mathis had this play all the way. Peyton bumping, hooking, grabbing, holding. When the when the final shot was taken. Just held him down. That was really an accumulation foul. Sonic swore to come out more aggressive in game six, but did not in Salt Lake City. They're trying to do that again here, and Gary Payton scores. Nice. Alone with a pass to Stockton. In the post, Utah. They split, they cut through. Disagrees with the call by Mike Mathis that it's Seattle basketball, but the call stands as the Jazz try to calm their leader down. 6.48 to play in the first quarter. Timeout on the floor. The Jazz 15, the Sonics 8. This is the NBA on NBC. Well, in this series, as their three point shooting has slumped horribly the last four games. Malone will go to the line and shoot two off the nice pass from John Stockton. Stockton makes the steal. John Stockton's the sharpest player in the game today. Made him become tentative and hesitant about shooting the ball. Craig Foster has also come off the bench and just goes right around Foster for the basket. Peyton back around and down the lane and he'll shoot two. 
Now you look at the way Hawkins is really shadowing. There's another throw away. This time, Hornacek and Kemp is fouled on his way to the basket. What is Utah doing? Utah's driving away from the basket to the sideline, to the corner, jumping in the air and throwing cross-court passes. That's the way they lost game two when John Stockton did it. Now they're feeding Sean Kemp, Percy Hawkins, and a breakaway foul call. And exactly the kind of turnovers Seattle was committing Thursday night in Salt Lake City. His defense on Hornacek has been solid. Hornacek. Jeff Hornacek. Get that one up and down. Nice weak side rotation by Foster. Perkins for three. Everybody stays home. Hornacek with the ball. On the corner. And Peyton got a piece of it. NBA's defensive player of the year with the play. Drive for Gibbs to Hawkins. Defense leading to offense. Well, the Sonics will take issue with Hugh Evans for that call. In the meantime, we'll stop with 2.03 to play in the first. The Sonics 21, the Jazz 17. There are no more tomorrows for the loser. The winner moves on to the NBA championship round. So game seven situations, you don't want to look back on this five or ten years down the road and think that you didn't give it all you had. Uh, Seattle's defense has been very active here early. Malone gets that one deep. Oh, and an easy two. Hudson's with the rebound. Five seconds to the quarter. Peyton tried to go behind his back. And Malone called timeout with seven tenths of a second to play. Get the fadeaway stuff, according to Ahmad and Jerry Sloan. Russell now tight on Gary Peyton, who gets by and goes through the lane. They're going to double and make somebody else beat him. Krakowski, before he gets the three away, there is a foul called down low. Uh, that is their tenth of the game. And Stockton draws the foul from Askew and gets a shot from behind for his trouble. People off the dribble, get himself some room, then he starts passing the basketball, get another whistle against the, the Jazz, and there is Krakowski and Malone going and nose to nose. This is number three on Brakowski. Well, this is intimidation. Michael Buffers was here. He should be calling this. <laughs> Half minutes of the game. He had 10 points early. Carl Malone's really having a hard go of it. And Perkins follows him in the paint. Sean Kemp looking for a way around Malone. And is followed by Malone. Now, he just helping him up. And, uh, you know, uh, they're, they're taking it the wrong way. Thought there was a confrontation. Sean Kemp is actually under control. Carl says, I don't want any help. Well, that's fine. <laughs> but this is the second foul here for Carl Malone. Usually, he's clean as a whistle on these type of plays. Uh, he's one of those guys that plays great defense with his hands and got a little bit too much on him. But Sean Kemp is going to take the free throw. He gets started as Malone, and everything revolves around him. If he gets started, Russell gets shot. That was his best move of the afternoon. He can roll as Stockton and Malone. They never play get the screen set. Kemp inside. Sean Kemp. Jerry Sloan wants a foul. Doesn't get it. Here's Carl Malone working on Perkins. Almost loses his balance. Drops that drop step leg back so far. Kemp comes right back with the same move. Kemp doesn't use the hitch. And all the great post players develop, the Abdul-Jabars, the Akeem Olajuwans, the Carl Malones. Five seconds on the clock. Spencer inside and gets the bounce. Nice inbound play. They caught the Sonics asleep. Get it off of Peyton's backside. Shrimp on the drive. Walking foul on the counts. Outside shot. Why go for that? Stockton for Foster gives it to Malone. Nice pass. Porter, both teams playing hands defense, and the Jazz poke it away. Peyton steals it right back. Can't control. A team that thrives on Temple. What they want is an open court game. They don't have to bump and grind. They get a foul against John Stockton, who looks bewildered at the call. It's time down. Gary Peyton. Just them both. And Kemp is there for the rebound. And it's Tripp. Picks it up again. And scores. That is terrible for Utah. 37-35. Malone for Foster. 
Nice footwork. And Foster converts the basket. Now shot clock down to seven. Has to do something in a hurry. He spins. Malone gets it away and hits. Good job by Stockton and Malone. And the Jazz lead it by two. Hawkins takes the bump. Feeds Kemp. Shot clock down to six. Malone backs in on Perkins and goes to the hook. He'll shoot two. Peyton on the move. Back outside. Kemp. Peyton out of the corner for three. Five seconds shot clock differential. Stockton trying to make it happen. They're going to get a foul against Peyton. Easy play to call. Let's go back and look at it. As Sean Kemp makes this play, draws the defense, and in the corner, that is Peyton's favorite spot on either side. There's reaction routine. The foul. He's just got two right now. Peyton down the lane. Got it. On Stockton in the first four and a half minutes of the game, scored 10 points in the last 19 and a half. That left strength hits a three. Stockton has managed just one point. By Chris Morris. 49-41. Stockton converts on the pass from Hornacek. That play has been there. Oh, Peyton left open. They're a hot shooter in the corner, that left strength, but when Russell has been guarding them, he has Hasn't gone for a punt play. Hasn't double clutch. Stockton to the other side. Or into there. Well, Peyton from one of his favorite spots on the floor didn't find anything. Russell for three. That is beautiful basketball. You can just see John Stockton's eyes light up as he comes up the court. And straight. Well, they got that spark, and Carl Malone hasn't really gotten a rhythm here in the third quarter. <laughs> rebound champ. You go get that guy, okay? <laughs> Quiet him down. Detlin Strip has really got to stay aggressive at the offensive end. Kemp gets a second straight jumper from outside. Lost in the shuffle, uh, but Kemp wants to guard Carl Malone this afternoon. Malone goes with the left hand, doesn't fall. And now Malone losing his temper a bit at the other end. That's number three on Malone. The frustration for Malone. He had a shot, he thought he could get down. Sean Kemp playing perfect basketball today. No fouling. Staying completely within himself. Four ways he's been this going for Utah. They're just down three points. And Malone got the ball down low and drew the foul, so he will shoot two. Trying to help him get off. Yeah, but Percy Hawkins is wearing him for a jacket as well. He is not letting him get out of his sight. Malone wants the ball down low and gets it back. Powers up, comes up short. Here come the Sonics again. Peyton spins, retains control down the lane, follows now tap up by Shrimp. Wincing out here behind the three-point line. Double team on Malone. He finds Russell. What a shot! Oh, Brian Russell! <laughs> a little bit at his end of the floor. They're going against the shot clock now. One-on-one -on -one Peyton. Stockton forces it to the baseline. Comes up shooting. Down low and back outside. Building an 11-point lead. The Sonics have outscored Utah 13-3. Gary Payton against the shot clock, nails one out of the corner off the baseline, and then Hersey Hawker, who vowed to do better, has done that. He hits the three, 71-60. Sonics lead the Jazz, 2-0-2 to play here in the third quarter. And now Stockton, shot clock is down to five. Russell puts it up for three. And first opportunity. Right Kemp, double team. And tied up by Malone, jumped up. He's been able to take him inside, create three-point opportunities for his teammates outside, and right away, Stockton right back in his face. Just blew by Peyton. Play from the rear, and uh, they want to get control of the tempo again. Nate McMillan. Nate McMillan limping badly out there. Hornacek. And Hornacek answers right back. Hornacek.
Don't shoot that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl Malone's going to get tagged for a foul right there. So now there becomes a problem for Malone, who has not been able to get into the game at the offensive end. His fourth personal foul. Watch the elbow come up on Deathless Shrimp. That's a big time shove in the paint. You got to get him off you somehow. Game, misses that shot. Peyton comes back and Stockton with the steal from behind. Hornacek will push. Feeds Malone on the run. Big time extension. Carl Malone needed that hoop. Malone and Stockton. Up top, Benoit for three. And David Benoit curls it home. The Sonics are best offensively when they go without thinking. If they stop and think, they don't do that. Peyton reacts and scores. Provided in two three-point field goals. And coming over to commit the foul is Brian Russell as Stockton went for the steal. Last couple years. As well as the more relaxed attitude of George Carl. Oh, John. Another Stockton. step. Stockton looking for the foul call. It's 45 to play here in the fourth quarter. Kemp. On card draws his fourth personal as the teams go to the bench with 6.42 to play in regulation. The Sonics 80, the Jazz 77. We'll be back to Seattle right after this. Antoine Carr just tossed his goggles off to the sideline. Malone, Carl Malone, who says he wants the basketball down the stretch. Kemp kicks it to Shrimp. Big time rebound, Sean Kemp. Stop it. Shot clock at two on the run. In and out and back in again. 85 84, Seattle. Go back to John Stockton. John Stockton just able to break down the defense off the broken pick and roll and over the outstretched arms of helpless Seattle defenders. Well, they're trying to come to Kemp and they want to get an inside score. Sean Kemp. And the whistle blows. Between Kemp and Peyton, they turn it over. Malone with the steal. Malone in transition. And there's a foul by Peyton on Stockton. Good foul by Peyton. Basket wide open. Too slow. For Russell. For Malone, who got it? 87-86. Going to the basket. You want to try to get the whistle if you can. John Kemp. And Foster gets the foul called against him. Eight of nine from the free throw line. And he is like clockwork now. Break down the defense and get by Askew. Missed it. He hit it. Benoit, Russell, all on the floor. Stockton from alone to the basket. And he'll shoot two. 8.2 on the game clock. Too much bounce in the legs. <laughs> he missed them both. Seattle with the ball and the whistle. <laughs> Brian Russell for three. The leader, no. Rebound, Seattle and a cover. Round. Carl Malone standing by with a mod for shot. Come on. All right, thanks, Greg. Carl, a very tough loss here today, but you guys did a lot of things that nobody even expected you to do by even being in the seventh game. Well, it was a tough loss, and obviously I didn't play that well. You know, I got to give them a lot of credit. They play really hard, and, you know, we lose like, we win like men, and we lose like men. So I just want to say to their organization, congratulations and good luck. And we played hard. We just didn't get it done. And I missed some easy shots. But I just try to come back next year and do a better job. All right, Carl, you had a great season. Congratulations to you. All right, let's go back over there. Great. All right, Ahmad, you expect nothing but class from Carl Malone. That's what we got. Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Greg. I'm now joined by George Carl and Gary Payton. 
Gary, first, let's talk to you. Those four big free throws by Sean Kemp. How nervous were you when he was shooting that ball? Well, we've been shooting uh, free throws terrible. And when Sean stepped up there, I knew he was going to knock them down for it. I was kind of nervous. I ain't going to tell you no lie. But uh, he knocked them down, and that's why he's Sean Kemp. How much more relaxed were you today? It's been a very difficult week for you. Well, I was a lot relaxed today. I started off a little timid and missing a lot, a lot of easy shots. But in the second half, I got into it. Coach Coach kept telling me, uh, you know, keep on um, shooting the ball. And that's what I did, and then I got into a rhythm a little bit. How about the Chicago Bulls? You don't get too much time to enjoy this. Well, we can enjoy it for a day or so, but we're going to go out there and we're going to give it all, all we got. Uh, they're a great team, and we're just going to come out and just play. Gary, congratulations. All right, Steve. Our final score, Seattle 90, Utah 86. Join us Wednesday for game one of the NBA Finals as the Seattle Sonics take on Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. Wednesday in prime time at 9 p.m. Eastern, the NBA Finals on NBC.